Being HIV positive does not mean you cannot have a productive life. This is only possible if you adopt a lifestyle to delay the onset of AIDS. HIV is the virus that causes AIDS, so being HIV positive means the virus is in your blood and when you start falling sick often, then you have developed acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS. Elvis Basude, an HIV AIDS activist and a person who has managed to survive with the virus for 17 years, says that the country has lost many people who would still be with us if they had lived more responsibly, but to date, some people still believe that an HIV diagnosis is a suspended death sentence. Do some people die when they wouldn't have died because they don't live positively? So what if you have HIV? You can live just like any other person as long as you adhere to certain, certain things. Positive living is a lifestyle, a lifestyle that you must uh, abide by. Short of it, of course you'll have challenges, you'll have problems. You are as vulnerable to death as any other person in your neighborhood. Well, it is true that finding out that you have HIV is not easy because it is scary and can torment you. But you can live much longer if you refuse to interpret your condition as terminal and learn to live positively. The knowledge that you are HIV positive is a transition. It starts a new life where you must learn how to cope and focus on what is more important. When you have HIV or when you are HIV positive, you must learn to cope with your new status and learn how to live with it. That is what is called living positively with HIV AIDS. You can still live a good and normal life as long as you adhere to positive living. Basude says that positive living involves a number of things which contribute to good health and longer life of people living with HIV AIDS and among the things are acceptance, antiretrovirals also known as ARVs, sex, medical care, nutrition, hygiene, counseling and leisure. Acceptance is the key that lays down the ground for living longer when you are HIV positive. Basude, in our first episode, breaks down the need and why you should first accept your status. Positive living, you must do certain things if you have to live positively. The first thing is acceptance. Okay? Acceptance means you must accept. You know, this is a new thing. The moment you are diagnosed with HIV, that is a new thing. You might not be used to it, and uh, naturally you'll get tormented. But the starting point is you must accept your new status as part of you. So the first thing is acceptance. How you got the virus, from who, it doesn't matter. What matters is your tomorrow. You must make sure that you accept your new status and live positively with it. Short of that, you have challenges because you'll be, you know, every time you'll be crying, you'll be stigmatized. But the first starting point is accepting your new status as part of you. That's the starting point of living positively. Like I told you, positive living is a lifestyle. For example, when you go to Rwanda, what do they do? They drive on the what? On the right. In Uganda, we drive on the left. So if you go to Rwanda, you must abide by their what? Their system of driving to the right, to the left. Is it right? Yes. If you don't, naturally, you'll have a problem. So the same thing with having HIV. If you don't abide by things that you must do to live positively, you'll have challenges. The second thing is ARVs. Today we have ARVs that prolong the life 
of somebody who is living with HIV. ARVs are not a cure, but you must adhere strictly to the ARVs because ARVs attack the virus directly and stop the virus from multiplying. Okay? So the moment you don't adhere strictly to using the ARVs, your immune system is going to be destroyed and eventually you'll have problems. So positive living involves using ARVs, although they are not a cure, you must use ARVs on daily basis as the instruction is, as you are instructed. And short of that, if you don't use them regularly and the way you are supposed to, you might have what we call resistance. And that is also very dangerous. In the next episode of how you can be living with HIV AIDS positively, we will look at how a person who is positive can be able to give birth and have a family. Even if you have HIV, you still have a long productive life ahead of you. In times of dark.